<clears throat> Everybody, oh, if you could read back on the text there, you could see that we were uh, we we're looking for tell people out, and we actually found one of our guild members um, helping someone else out, which is awesome. So let's go to Zoma Z. That sounds good. We have our generic um, kill everything load add on, so hopefully we'll be able to tackle even the most uh, strenuous circumstances. I think the only gate we're not looking to go down is like the Coral Night, not the Coral Night, oh my gosh, it's freaking sleep party. Where is it? The uh, Iron Falcon, that's it, that's the only one we, we don't have to go down. Hello Zoma. So that's like the four star stuff, this is what we want. Uh, like daily, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make it a point to go down and help out um, new people, just to, you know, increase the community. There's some, I'm not gonna say mindless self promotion oh you have a pepper box you're already my hero but it is, it is a bit of self-promotion because um so the the media stuff that i do why do we do why why would i do that i don't get any money from it not yet anyway it would be nice if that could be my vacation someday but i'm not going to plan on it but what i'm what i'm saying is it's a uh, it increases the community everybody has a general spot where they can view and agree or disagree with comments by the way we've never I personally have never played this stage before good job just sh shooting that little shrine thing there you did it so this is uh, this is new for me usually these are supposed to be sleep guys right but they're definitely poison do, 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 do. hello there we go I mean there's no problem a winter grave can't fix as, as seen in this uh, this fight right here. We're coming, man. I see your pepper box. You're doing a great. Another core. We got one more. Let's go, brother. Oh. Gonna take out the construct first. I got it right that time. Sometimes I even miss the most basic names. There we go. We missed. <laughs> I know it's not the uh, the most challenging thing to watch the uh, the winter grave do his thing. We all. We got enough, by the way, to uh, get our graviton fully, uh, immer fully charged and all that. So it's level ten. I got the. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I spent so much time last episode looking for the recipe that wasn't there. I got on the Spiral Knights Discord, and I'm like, "Am I going nuts? Wasn't that a wasn't that recipe in the auction? Or not the auction house? Wasn't that recipe just like readily available? People like like two seconds later. No, it's." You can get an OCH, which I don't have, and that's on my to-do list as well. Just, um... Oh, beat him. You can't hit him, he's too strong! If my, anyway, on my to-do list is uh, getting the OCH downloadable content, which, you know, playing this game for years, you think I would have done that by now. Oh, let's help him. Wake up, my friend. The pepper box I'd like seeing though, dude, brings back memories. I think that was well, that was literally one of my first guns ever. You gotta stop falling asleep there, brother. Stay out of the mix. Use the gun range. Even though that pepper box, pepper box used to vacuum things in, which I think might have been good with a uh, whoop, don't get too close with a hammer combo like ages ago. But now it's uh, you know just the knockback instead, which is actually it makes way more sense when you think about it. A gun that sucks people in. Very tough to use that unless you're like, you pre-lay a bomb and then suck them into it, I guess. But even then, you're still at the danger of... Very surprised by where my charge went there. Anyway, you're still in the danger of, uh, you know, having them attack you as they come in. It doesn't uh, offer too much hit stun lock. Let's just shock you for a minute. Give you a nice charge. Tell Mike to do his business. There we go. Oh, no, don't die. Don't die, my friend. Stay alive. Come after me. Let's go get some health. Thank you. You're just up close and personal. I like your style, but... Oh, no! Oh, no! We might be getting hit. Thank you. Just trying to stun him. Okay, we did it. Dude, I like this area. Oh, wake up. <laughs> We've never played it before, but... Oh, wow. How could we not get this? Do you remember when the, uh, like, you would spend energy or mist back in the day on those constructs, and it would be a viable thing to, you know, you want more targets to the enemy to hit kind of deal. So it would have actually been worth it. 
Uh, thank goodness, more shinings. Hey oh, here we go. I know, cat. You're just you're so adorable. You're the prettiest kitty in the planet. Man, really happy that I finished Momodora, by the way. My daughter watched the last episode with me uh, the other day. She was she was uh, speechless, just like I was at the, at the end there. Um, you know, it's it's you know, good games, good atmosphere. I still am to the point where like music makes a game and a movie. Like if you have a, a movie with really bad music. Um, you, you can just call it quits right there. I know the, uh, there, there's this show out, which, um, it's a cartoon. It kind of reminds me of a younger version, uh, geared to, literally geared towards young girls. It's called Hilda. It reminds me of Adventure Time, but, like, very, much more simplistic. Like, Adventure Time gets really deep when you watch it. You know, post-apocalyptic demons and a, a young boy. Oh, come on now. Where, where are you actually going? that I can't find you with my gun. Three, and then one more sh Oh no! We are the most accurate players on Earth anyway. Mr. Z, let's do this. Get some hits done. Loving the pepper box. I didn't even notice Nebrium was on. I would have been like, yo, let's do stuff. And then I forgot to check my friends list anyway. Can you stealth enter? There's got to be a way, right? Because sometimes, like, I'll look at my friends list, see who's on, and then I'll just see later on in the day, maybe it's just Alzheimer's kicking in. It happens when you get a little ancient like myself. Oh, there, and everyone locked on. Ninja. Oh, nice shot. All right. Let's hack open these little blocks here and continue on. I think it's probably a good investment to pick this pill up. Oh, there we go. Down there's just crystal energy, not, not crystal energy, minerals, which half of which are not incorporated in the game when I have, but you know, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure everybody has their own, uh, like, a stash of about a billion of the, the green and blue minerals, which, you know, they're still sending people down here to check them out in the clockworks or something, I don't know. <laughs> Loving it. Dude, I love arcades, man. I'm helping. Oh, got him. Winter Grave's so good. <laughs> so when you go down and see people like this person, I, like it might just be a costume, but they might actually have a distinct loadout from the meta, which is also really cool. I like people who, uh, like for myself, when I play any game, I try not to, unless I like, get really stuck at a point where I want to figure out how to min-max my own style. Try not to do any of the, the wiki stuff or anything like that, you know what I mean? Um, if, if you find a, uh, you, know, you, you could you could go that route and the, the, po the point of a game is to, uh, you know, the experience of it, right? You don't want to play a cookie clicker type thing where literally you show up, you click, you win. Um, like, that's kind of why I think uh, the soda dungeon game is not quite a success. You can literally... Set your party up, click, and then walk away. Well, that's that's okay to a point, but after a while, you're just like, eh, kind of. Not is there anything else? It's not much here for me. All right, well, there's a key. We're gonna definitely open that, by the way. Shoot our friend Zomazi to a danger room. I will spark him with my last spark if need be, because that's such as how we are. I will use my last spark on somebody else. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. We can do this. Hey, it's either the slime or the beast or the grim. <laughs> Could be a lot of them. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, it's beast. Sweet. Let's see here. And then we'll do this. And then we'll just hack at him. He has guns, I believe. Like, nothing but guns. I think we need to activate this as well. Oh, no. Now we need to run. <laughs> Help. There we go. We're doing it. I think we're we can we can survive one more hit. There we go. I just wanted to pull them all over here. Oh, now we need to uh, use this, and maybe let's get some uh, another target out there for them to, to whack at for a minute. Yes. 
So shooting that gunshot does exactly what I want it to do. Kites them all over here, so hopefully his pepper box, you know, dominates for a minute. I know I see him, I see him uh, attacking the single target over there, and that's absolutely fine. The, the point of these missions, anyway, when I go on them, is to, to enable and protect. Okay, let me take these guys out. Should not be that big of an issue. Alright, let's see if we can help our friend out for a minute. Whoa, come on over, guys. Stop hurting my friend. We're just going to fire the Winter Grave at him for a minute. See if I can keep uh, other wolves off of him. Oh my goodness. Good idea. <laughs> Take that guy out. I'm coming. The Winter Grave. Shows no mercy. Oh, I got an itch. What a time. What a world. If this were an Acheron, and they were not weak against Shadow, strong against Shadow, would still be doing like four times as much damage. This is how the Acheron works most balanced weapon in the game. <laughs> That's why you see a little kitty on my uh, thumbnail. Polaris and an Akron. Why not go all out in every lockdown match? Just makes everybody feel warm and fuzzy and, and all that. You might have your, your inklings to what is good and what is not, but if everybody min-max, oh boy, the fun everyone would have. Everybody knows, like, like so you go the, uh, well, let's get out of there. You do the min-max, the Akron, even in, in like, uh, the clockwork setting. Uh, you can do min-max, but everybody likes, you know, you get more than just one, oh, this could be bad. More more than, like, one weapon and one armor, I hope, right? You get a variety, things you can use once in a while. Because it, it's just fun to use them. The uh, unique play styles that just seem to pop out of nowhere. I should probably use our, uh, whoop, this, yes. We can just hack at him for a minute, there we go. Catch him on fire, there we go. I, I, unfortunately, I lost track of our uh, our teammate because we're just up here in the corner beating on what I think is uh, most of the wolvers. All right, don't die now. Well, well, I mean, we'll find out if they are. But I think the Winter Grave can just about one shot these guys because they're in almost nothing health. There we go. Hey, there we go. All right, cha cha cha. Hit stun. Okay, we're stuck in a corner. A whole bunch of great stuff happened there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. These orbitals are great if you don't have the exact status resistance. Come on. Come get a taste. Oh, nice shot. Look out. I'm trying not to knock him into the guy. <laughs> One more hit should do it for that guy. Whoop I'm, not, I'm, I'm sorry if I assume your gender too much there, Mr. Wolver, but... You know, you do look strangely uh, more toward the masculine side of things, so you're being amazingly aggressive. Unless, there, unless those other things were your small cubs and you had to populate when I uh, you were living underneath that button or something, I don't know. Anyway. Dev 22, shouldn't expect any radiance, because I think 25 is the absolute minimum they show up on. Holy smokes. It's 5.06 a.m. already. In case you were wondering what kind of time deadline we're on. That means I got like 30 minutes. I got to head out to work. So we'll see how long this goes. I might not be able to go to, all the way down. But it would be nice if we could anyway. Stairway to heaven. Loving it. Let's drop this. Activate Grave of Winters. See you later, buddy. If the Windsor Grave added fire instead of uh, ice, I would also be happy, man. Ice is not a, I, ice is uh, like assumed with, at least in the SK element, ice is assumed with the shadow, right? And usually elemental is more fire and shock. And what else? Poison? Poison? I guess poison is kind of like Pierce, Good, just because the the slime elements were the, the you know, literally that's what they are. It's, Okay, we got this. Like when you go down to dreams and nightmares and all that, slime tends to, uh, the, the slimes that poison you down there. I do like wearing my shadow sun when we get down there, but for dreams and nightmares, nightmares specifically, that did hurt. That was my mistake. You can't always get what you want. But, uh, you know, we use chaos just because the charge time reductions just about absolutely necessary. 
All right, anything down here? No. Oh yeah. Watch the basil hat. The basil have a graviton vortex for us. That gets almost destined to happen. Anyway, coffee time. Oh, Mike, you're so close. Uh. So today is, um, day of the week, is it? <clears throat> Technically, right now, it is Sunday. Yesterday was the, the first lecture I went to by the C.S. Lewis Institute. Man, some guy... That's a, that's a pretty neat thing there. If I had money, I'd buy it. Some people in this world are ridiculous smart and can retain a lot of knowledge. Um, like the, the, the way that cultural elements are used to... Like, this guy, his name is Jim Ehrman. He did a... He talked about the, the whole... I'm not going to get too far into theology for you, but he talked about the Holy Spirit. That was the topic of discussion. But he went to like the whole sociological aspect of um, how... Oh, we're definitely doing some switch shooting here. Hope you guys don't mind listening to me like type a book report out. Well, he went to the whole aspect on how God could... Excuse me, possibly use... Um, can we feed you? Use the, the culture, you're ready to level up, let us level you. You're going to be leveled. Purity. Thank goodness. Curse resistance. The most commonly used element in all of SK. Anyway. So this is, I, I like the graveyard because if you have graphics low like myself, you get the, like the maximum FPS. So let's head down here. So anyway, what this guy would do is he went into, he did a study globally and historically on these sociological elements that um, cultures would use to bring them to a sense of like monotheism and theism or pantheism, like any sort of religion, how God would use the cultural elements, uh, specifically how the, they would indoctrinate Christianity into using those elements. And then, uh, you know, but it, like his whole point was like, the, the unfortunate part, and this is where you get different denominations out of the church, is, is uh, you know, when you put the infinite into the finite, it, it's like putting an infinite amount of water into a cup. The cup's going to break, or it's going to overflow, and it, you won't be able to fit the entire context of the infinite and the finite. That's just how it works. Um, but the the culture manifests itself through through different artifacts or different mediums. But the, the idea... And this happens with like the New Age spiritism, however you want to look at it. And unfortunately, the idea um, gets uh, gets perverted. Like I said, that's the the best way I can put that. When you take the medium and instead of glorifying like the ca the causality or the agent, you glorify the the method on which it's produced. Which is why you have oh, Catholicism believing like in the Eucharist, it actually becomes the literal body and blood of Jesus Christ when you take communion instead of just using that element to, to bring you to the uh, you know, conscious or subconscious form of, of the deity anyway. Just saying, it was a very neat, like this guy, he has a seat at Yale. Like I was very, I, I felt very privileged to be able to hear from, from somebody with the, uh, with the, the kind of knowledge that a, a person with multiple degrees has. Um, education, my friend, don't ever downplay the, uh, the beauty of uh, of a, a person with a learned mind and years of experience and wisdom. I mean, especially when they go hand in hand. This guy must have been maybe in his mid to his late 40s, early 50s. All right, but he's very sharp, very sharp individual. Gives me kind of a, a hope for a context of the future, for, like for myself. You know, the, uh, they say the number one uh, way you can fight Alzheimer's is is through um, word comprehension, which is a fancy way of saying reading. You read a lot, and you. Uh, Use your brain to process that information. I think we should take this. Process that information. Oh, look at all that damage. 289. Meow, meow, meow. And uh, your, your brain stays, stays sharper. It's like doing push-ups and sit-ups with your body. Yeah, it might not make you be able to run a marathon, but it will keep you, give you the strength you need to uh, you know, do, do more chores than somebody who is just absolutely stagnant during their period of life on their way up. 
could not. Anyway. All I'm saying is, when I'm 90, I'm going to still be able to walk up steps and read a book. As opposed to being in a wheelchair when I'm 50. That's all I'm saying. Hello. Hello, Mr. Skeletons. I see you. Mike, you just fed you. You just leveled up. I'm not going to say use your newfound power because it's just about... I'm not saying it's useless, but it's necessary to add to your... If you're a completionist in all the powers in the world, it is necessary. I'm already warmed up with the uh, switch shooting thing because... You know, this is one of those rare days where I don't have any other games to play at the moment. I'm still deciding. We we did our. Uh, it, it's probably on either on schedule. You're already seeing it. I don't know. We already did our um, Tohu Lunar Nights. We already played up to the the point where they have released for that game, and I also finished Moldora. So I'm looking for another game to play. And I also got the uh, what's it called? I got Stardew Valley that I play. It's my. It's like our after school routine, and I I have a lot of fun with it. I just feel like when I do these, especially, like specifically this one, I have a long-term goal in mind. I don't, I don't. Uh, I try to at first off, I try to make them all roughly family-friendly. I know sometimes you get a little heated in lockdown. Everybody does, so uh, I'm not, you know. But we, we keep swearing out of it because I don't think swearing accomplishes anything. If, if swearing is meant to add uh, emotion on your statements, well, if you use it too much to the point where it gets ridiculous. Then it loses all meaning. If the your four letter words are just common, then you might they're they're as common as just like personal pronouns. You, I mean, eventually people are just like, can you not um, talk like that? It's it's those words are they're sacred and special for a reason, but in a in a different kind of way. Anyway, it's nice to be fighting zombies. I did a uh, hopefully by now when this comes out, I did a review for Spiral Knights on the on Christian gamers. Um, it's still, like, I'm testing this out, right? Because writing game reviews actually is kind of neat from a, from a Christian perspective. Um, just to see what, uh, you know, you deal with, like, the, the moral issues, the, the magic and the occult, whether there's blood in it, whether it's uh, offensive to your fellow man or to yourself, or if it's, if it's like, a horrifying game, if it teaches bad family. Family values is, is a pretty big thing, and I, I totally agree with that. If you're not placing emphasis on the next generation, you're basically giving up on the human race. It's a, uh, it actually is counterintuitive, because you see most of the the secular societies, and in, in America, if it isn't one already, it's, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure you would you would count this, it's a, it's it's an autonomous nation, right? And I've explained this before, but it's been a while. So there's, uh, theonomous, heteronomous, and, and autonomous, uh, type of of cultures. Uh, theonomous. Is you believe that God is is so prevalent in the human heart that you just you allow Him to make your decisions for you and you, and you rely on general culture and, and an offshoot of that, you have the uh, on in every uh, this is some, something that Jim Emerson actually brought to mind. Every every culture that you have, there's two things that are considered taboo in every single culture. No other culture has ever come away from these, and and the two things are stealing. And marriage. And, oh, sorry, stealing and adultery. Now, the definition of marriage might change from culture to culture, but stealing and adultery are two things that don't change from culture. Like it's it's considered they are wrong, and you have to, like, come on, Mike, and that you have to, you know, abide by the certain rules that are precedent there. So that's the honest. You know, things that are just like ingrained in people's hearts, and you go that way. You also have a heteronomous culture. Heteronomous culture means uh, everything is basically dictated by the few at the top. And, um, like Saudi Arabia with the Shiite law and the people that are in charge there. That'd be a good example of a heteronomous kind of culture. Uh, uh, autonomous culture is where the individual is left to decide what kind of culture that, that uh, you know, he wants to live. The, the, the individual is, is, it's up to them to decide. That's why the, uh, you know, there's there's like a double standard from a Christian perspective in a in a uh, autonomous culture because like you can you can tell your view there's a there's a, well, first off there's a right way and a wrong way to tell like your view on homosexuality from a Christian perspective you can be nice because the whole biblical concept is it's all out of love right obedience without love is what slavery so if you abide by somebody like if you your father or your mother you listen to what they're saying they want the best for you they're not doing it because they want you to be a tiny little slave they're grooming you to eventually grow up one day i hope so we should go with this and then 
There we are. No! What am I doing? Um. Where is it? I'm blind. It, it's gotta be here. Did I delete my loadout? My Nitro Pseudo loadout? How could I do such a thing? Anyway. We'll, we'll make it happen. No, no, we need... We're, can I just... Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we have that. We need the bomb. With the bomb to bang, to bang, to bang, to bang, to bang. You get the point. So where was I going with that? I don't know. I kind of trail off every so often. You, like, if I want to really get into it, i got to write down my thought progression, but sometimes I forget to do that. Anyway, let's continue on here. We're, we're, we're at a beast layer. This is my favorite. This is, like, what this loadout is roughly good at. So we're just going to use it for a minute. Well, let's see if they can get in the circle of fun. Nope. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't have the... I have the... I have the recipe, I just haven't made it yet. We should make it a point to do that. So I know what I was getting at. The uh, the whole Christian concept in explaining things in the uh, in the different kind of cultures. So anyway, the uh, what happens when you explain that kind of thing, even if you do it in a loving way, usually the autonomous culture turns into like a heteronomous culture, where suddenly you dictate the terms on how things should be, even even if I gave you my terms in an autonomous culture. Anyway, that's, that's usually... The, uh, the the way things uh, things go there and the um yes get in the center my little puppies <laughs> meow meow it's exactly how it's supposed to work anyway feels good when it does doesn't happen like too too often because we only have the tiny version of the bomb but, and in hindsight I probably should wait till I have the five star version and the level ten Sudaruska just so it works a bit better anyway oh sorry. Let's go this way. The actual way we're supposed to go. Zomazi. So much time we got here. Dude, I got like 10 minutes. So 10 minutes, this is this is gonna end one way or another. Just because of uh of time. So I I only you know, you gotta you gotta make the most of your time. One of the first books that and I'm not kidding, and it was just so good of a, of a read, is uh uh, the books they made us read for the C.S. Lewis Institute, and I can't stop talking about it because it's, it's just a part of my life right now. It's uh, a book called, just literally about managing your time. Because in this culture we live in, whether it be games, video games, I, I know one person, uh, his name is Edward, told me about his brother, Jose, who, like, he has three kids, but all he does when he gets home from work is play Fortnite. And that's all he does. Like, he doesn't pay attention to it. He doesn't pay. I'm like, how could you not pick your kid up? Do you give up on the next generation? But I, like, anyway, I, I pray for the guy. That's that's all you can really do at that point. So the, um... Was I going with that? Oh, yeah, you get, don't give up on the next generation, man. That's why I think that's where I was going with that. Darn it. Dude, I really gotta write. It's hard to write stuff down. Like, I'm not, I don't want to prep a speech. I just try to do this on the fly if at all possible. Anyway, let's get our Sudaruska here. And if you think it's easy following a train of thought while you're playing a video game, you are welcome to try, my friend. I know Northern Lion is actually a guy I sort of put on a pedestal because he can do this very well, but he has years of experience. I have less than a year. <clears throat> no, I, you know what? I have a little bit more than that. But I, I've, we're getting a little bit more fluid in our sp I can't. If you keep shooting him, I can't hit him with the charge. I will try. Probably won't happen, though. Ah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. That's the one of the few references I ever got out of uh, Arrested Development, which I cannot stand as a whole, that show. By the way, the knockback on the sword is just amazing. <laughs> Unless he was jumping back at the same time I did the second swing. I'm not sure if it's a... I mean, I would really appreciate it if it did it, uh, you know, more so than the Grand Faust, but I honestly think it's probably on par with it, unfortunately. Or, but, you know, you know, whatever. Okay, let's do this. Don't... Oh, at least we got the little healers. That's right, I call you little. Anyway. Continue on here. I think we'll have time to do this one. Maybe one more floor if we're lucky. I know we, we haven't got any radiance and it's something we're really starving and I just gotta do, uh, at least on my own time, some dreams and nightmares. We didn't do that today. I had to request a 
you know, just have fun with the prestige, and that was fun. General prestigious. We were getting there, slowly. I, I don't do even prestigious that much anymore. We, we have the little two, two little, like, what are they called? Darn it, I used to know this. The, stop. Cat, your nose is wet, and every time you poke my arm, I'm not petting you. You know how this works. And sticking your face in my arm is just really awkward for both of us, so I don't know why you keep doing that either. Anyway, another one! Okay, we're going Flourish this time. Flourish Winter Grape this time around. Just because the, uh, the Sudoruska is not, the, the combo is not quite powerful enough to, to work exactly how I want it to. Anyway, Pack Brutality. We got time to do one more. We'll be done then. <sighs> yeah, I man, it's nice to uh, it's nice to see there is life in this game at like three in the morning, and then people who, who show up at like two in the morning being like, "Yo, game dead." LOL. Why would like why would you show up? And Stop putting your nose in my freaking armpit, cat! You're weirdo. Anyway, this game's had enough weirdo cats. Just, just chill. Chill. Sit, stay, good cat. There you are. Stop. Stop. I'm gonna, th I'm gonna freaking frisbee throw you. The furriest frisbee in this world. Give it a shot just so we can uh, localize him. Stop. Oh my gosh, cat. It's so weird. Why do you keep doing that? You don't usually... Oh, I know why. I got a wife beater on. I'm looking good. It's like, Master, I never see you without your external fur on. We mu you must explain. Maybe I just don't notice it. Wet nose cat. I guess that means it's a, it's a sign of health. You get pets constantly, and yet you want more. Such can be said about the human heart, anyway. Well, this is what we got the winter grave for, though. Blah, blah! I think we got him. Yeah, we got lucky threading the needle there, because I did not see those shots coming. Hope, oh, jeez. I hope I'm inspiring to get a winter grave someday. Because this gun is just the bomb. Hindsight, I would have got a iron slug. I'd rather the stunt stop. Oh, okay, you're going off. See you later. I know it's loving, loving and affectionate. But it's just so weird. And awkward. And I can, I can deal without that. It's almost as weird as my two-year-old trying to tickle Sorry, my one-year-old, she's almost two, in, in December, if you were curious, you wish her a happy birthday, then. but she tries to tickle, too, because I tickle her, and she gets all giggled, and she tries to, I'm like, tickle mommy, she goes, try to, it, it turns into, like, it's not really a tickle, it's more like her scratching you with her baby claws as hard as she possibly can, and smiling about it, it turns into this, like, like, this maniacal thing, we got some radiance, hey, we have a new person, a Lou, Lou Fumisu? Sounds very French. Could be wrong, though. Anyway. Do you dodge? Yes. I'm like, you do dodge Mike's projectile. That is a bummer. That was a nice charge hit, though, by the way. The, the, like, the, like, we have a cooldown with our Nash. The Wolvers also have a cooldown with their teleport. From what I understand, anyway. We did it. See, that's why you can uh, make a shot there. They don't get flinched, I think, because just the third person's joined our party. That's okay. Let's get, where are you, buddy? Oh, you're back there, alright. Anyway, let's go down here. That's where the treasure is, my friend. We got more radiance. Dude, we're, it's, it's just freaking Christmas, man. Yeah, but like, the more I look at this, the more I'm like, yeah, it's, this has got to be our last floor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, me. I can't push the uh, the envelope of being late to work too hard. You know, spiral lights is one thing, but you know, it's messing with. I'm I, I don't I'm not a guy who's like beyond missing a day of work. They have the point system there for most at most facilities for a reason. Are you really gonna charge attack with the grand faust? That's so good. But the uh, the point system there is there for a reason. Like when you get sick or like you if you have kids and a family. You know, most people are, some people have this elitist mentality, that, like, how how dare you, uh, you know, miss a day at work, you know, those, those people usually, uh, 
don't have a family and, and never never knew what you know have, like you, it's it's not like you don't want to make money and go and uh, be a good worker for your company for for a lot of people not all people some people just don't care uh, but if you have other people you're responsible for it's those points are actually not just for you like my daughter has a day off work usually my wife is amazing and she'll take off because uh, just you know at least and I'm not I'm not let's not start the uh, you know men are worth more than women kind of kind of debate but usually what happens like men make more than women so I make more than my 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 wife does so it's it's more cost efficient for her to take a day off work than me if if our daughters are sick and that hasn't happened in a while they're pretty healthy um, you know you feed them right they should be okay. Um, so a couple, uh, just, just as an offshoot to the point thing, we'll just keep going on tangents. If you're going to, uh, when you feed your kids, feed them something fresh every meal. Like, uh, not corn all the time, because corn just goes right through you, but like, I don't know, broccoli, an apple. I try to make, like, we, okay, chicken nuggets, fries, you know, kids love them, so, you know, we give them to our kids. It's one of those meals you don't have to fight for them to eat, and we're definitely leaving. <laughs> but just something fresh helps them stay better. We also give our, our when one, when our youngest daughter gets two, she can have vitamins according to the bottle. We give vitamins occasionally. St oh, it's another stairway to heaven person. Hello. It's a duo. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Didn't even stay to the end. Alright, well. I think we'll be done. We're quitting our expedition. 5k crowns. Dude, Mike can eat yet again. So that'll be it for this one. And once again, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, click the like button, subscribe. Wait a second. Our encoding was overloaded again. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my goodness. One more thing we can do. I know I need, where is it here? I need a mug of misery, two mugs of misery and a crest of her. So if they ha have them, we'll make it. If not, don't worry about it. Mug of, not spending 4K, sorry. <laughs> nope. So we'll make this maybe next time. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I apologize if I offended anybody, but please, if I did, Leave comments. Let me know what you thought. I like having these small debates and addressing them verbally. So voice chat's nice. Anyway, see you guys next time. Take care.